My name is Kathy Bowman and I teach first grade here at Emanuel. Well, um, I lived in Oak Park, Michigan, which is a suburb of Detroit, until I was nine, and then we moved to Phoenix, Arizona. So I went to um, a Lutheran school there, and it, I graduated from Christ Lutheran in Phoenix, and it really shaped me. It's in the family. My parents were teachers, my brother and sister were teachers, so I just kind of followed the family. I went to Valparaiso University and I studied psychology and education. Um, I lived many years in Texas and I've taught at several different really good quality schools in Texas where I learned a lot. Um, I appreciated that, that interaction at a public school, but it made me really appreciate when I did come to Emanuel. Um, when I came to Emanuel, I really felt like this now was my calling, not just a profession. Um, you know, a lot of Christian teachers work in public schools, and I was one of them. And I had to very quietly show my faith and God's love for the kids. I couldn't overtly just say, you know, God loves you. But here at Emanuel, not only can I quietly show my faith, but I can loudly proclaim it too. Uh, in everything we, in everything I do, especially not only at religion time, but with every subject. And you know, the other thing that I've really appreciated about being at Emanuel is the faculty. Before I've taught at very large schools, where you know I know a few of the faculty, but here at Emanuel, I've gotten to know everyone. So we're a very close knit family, and I, you know, I so appreciate that that we rejoice when there's birth announcements, and we grieve with one another when our parents have passed, and you don't get that just anywhere. And I think the students can sense how much we care for one another. Uh, the other thing that I've really appreciated being here at Emanuel, which I've never seen at a public school, at least in my experience, was after I taught the child in, well, I've taught fifth and fourth and third, I wouldn't see them necessarily again. But here now that I'm teaching first grade, I watch them go all the way up through eighth grade and I just kind of have a pride in these students that, wow, I remember them when they were with me and now look at them, they're so ready to go out into the world and I'm just, I'm very appreciative of all the teachers that have come after me and what they've done. But I think Emmanuel all together does a, a, a great job of forming the entire child and their families and that's another thing. We get a lot more involved with the families. I have a husband, uh, Luke, and my son Nathan is also going to Valparaiso University, and he's uh, a physics computer science major. And um, I also have a, a relative, actually it's my husband's uncle, that, uh, Paul Bowman, that has been writing a lot of uh, music for children's choirs, and I know Mr. Ickstadt uses quite a bit of that. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of things I like to do in my spare time. I like to read. Uh, but I also do stained glass, and uh, my dad has made hundreds of stained glass pieces, and I have a lot of those now that he has passed, and I, I display them proudly in my home, and now I've taken some for my son Nathan, but then I also learned how to do stained glass because of him, but over Christmas break I was teaching Nathan how to make stained glass, so he made a nice stained glass window. I was really proud of him. Well, that's easy. Um, and it's kind of an ongoing memory. When I have the opportunity to uh, help out at Ash Wednesday services, I like to volunteer to put the, the ashes on my kids' foreheads. And not just my class, but all the classes. And the look in their faces, especially the little ones, you can tell they're a little scared. And I remember one of my students, who's now in eighth grade, she looked at me and I could tell she just wasn't sure. But she gave me this tentative smile like, I know you're not going to hurt me, but I trust you. <laughs> and so I just gave her a big smile and I put the ashes on her forehead and I said, you know, remember that you are dust and to dust you shall return. And, you know, it gets me to thinking about my own mortality and that I don't have to worry about it because Christ will raise me from the dead, and they know that too. 
Also, the other thing that kind of goes along with this is that at the end of the year, we bless our, our students. And that's, it's very meaningful to me that I can send them on to second grade and knowing that I've blessed them, I've done a good job, and I really, I say, and I don't think any teachers ever really said what they say to kids, but this is what I tell them. I said, God loves you, and I love you too, and you are blessed. And so, you know, both those memories together just really are endearing to my heart. I appreciate that.